Hey guys and welcome to Haven and Hearth. This is a MMO crafting survival game and I'm thinking about making a kind of a tutorial on how to start and survive the first encounters because I've been reading on the forums and a lot of people seem to have problems and don't know really what to do so I'm gonna start out quickly and this is the character creation with all the stuff you get and we can here get our name and we're gonna call ourselves LP1 now this guy here is useful if you have friends in the game or want to join say a village with a new character you can insert a hearth secret and you will get teleported to them when you start there will be a stair spawning in this corner here but we're not doing that we're starting fresh while into the world and as you can see, we started in a coniferous forest, and this is kind of good, but more on that later. So, first thing you should do is gather stuff, everything. And that sound there indicates that we got learning points. And everything you pick will give you learning points. And people often ask, like, how do you get food easy? Well, one way is to, if you're in a broadly forest, there is lots of apple trees but if you start out like this you will have a very limited supply of resources and especially food but if you get the, the hunting skill you can raid ant hills and let's see I'm gonna start with that right away now as you can see I right click it and it says raid and the first thing you should do is like press raid and immediately walk away from it and as you can see the ants are following me and we can let them follow for quite a while and now I engaged my running speed and about now we should run back, right click and start raiding again. Doing this will enable us to successfully raid and the ants will not get to you in time to reset the raiding. Unfortunately we didn't get anything from that raid so we just have to walk on and explore and I'm using the uh, Ender's client and if you check the forums on Sevenless guide there's a link there and I can hide stuff and most items will come up on the um, minimap and as you can see now in the top of the map this is a boar boars and bears are the most dangerous animals you will find in the game stay well away from them until you can at least build yourself a boat and hunt them but more on that don't you so skills 
What kind of skills do you need to start up? Well, hunting, foraging, fishing. That should be your first priority. What we also can do is ship this rock for a stone. Which will give us the option to build a stone axe. And as you can see, this is a quality 5 stone axe. The quality will increase by increasing the survival and carpentry skill. And this, what you see here, is a rabbit. Now, to hunt the rabbit, you need hunting skill and right click on it. But it's not a good idea to stand far away from it and right click, then it will just run away. So instead, we go walk up close and right click. Now, you see this little guy here in their inventory. You can right click him and bring his neck. This way, he takes up half the space, and we can right click and butcher him. and we got rabbit meat which we can cook on a fire fresh rabbit fur which we can dry on a drying rack and bone and with a bone we can make a bone saw let's remove the torch and equip it So we are well on our way to create our first settlement just by getting a few minor stuff. So and this here cone cow is a curiosity and that is something that you study that will give you learning points and there are a lot of curiosities in this game most of them are found in the wild and some of them you can craft yourself so cone cow will give us initially 35 learning points now there is a way other than increasing the quality of the item to get more learning points out of it and that is to go into your character sheet and go into personal beliefs these are your morals in the game sort of so by increasing to peaceful we now increased our XP modifier or learning ability modifier so now we get 129 percent of the actual value so the cone cow we got 35 earlier if we do like this we get 45 so it's 10 more and let's check our skills now I don't know why they're called this skills and these skills and as you can see we got a lot of skills to choose from here but these are more important especially exploration which will allow us to find better stuff in the environment flowers and other curiosities so yeah this is the first steps you will need to take in this awesome free to play MO. Too bad it's still in alpha stage though. And let's see, we can also dig a hole. Well, not really a hole, but you can dig the dirt for soil and occasionally you get a worm which you can use as bait for fishing 
and it seems we have a claim here not much in it though and this little fella here is a silk moth which we can't do anything with and sand is always useful to dig up now that sound will get um, less and less frequent and what do we have here here we got some sp spindly taproot and with that we can actually make the first part of a fishing pole and we need one more branch and craft and take this spin the taproot and right click on it on the fishing pole and the string will be attached now to make a hook we actually need a bone or you can use metal but the metal is a bit too hard to come by at the moment and here's another ant hill I wonder can we raid this without entering the area yes we could now here's another thing you can use to get away from the ants if you use shallow water that's like deep or uh, not that deep for um, shallow for a long time you can actually walk into it and the ants will get stuck on the shore and they will kind of forget about you and you can get back and raid the hill in peace and hopefully we get something from it still nothing not my day today apparently now until doesn't only give you some food it will also give you three very good curiosities that you can take from the beginning that being the ant soldier and queen and ant Empress and a fairly good quality Empress will give you something like 10,000 learning points for just a couple of hours of studying which is always nice and what do we have here and we have frogs and let's pick you up now toads doesn't give you anything you can use them for uh, curiosities but the materials used for it is very expensive and someone has left this note and here is another plane sleeping on her spruce bed and he also have a drying rack and apparently he's been chopping some trees
Now there's one thing you should know about this game. It has permanent death. So if you get your character killed by animal attack or if you get murdered by someone, that character is dead and is not coming back. So you shouldn't get too attached to your guys. Or if you do then you should be very, very cautious. But I hope you liked this quick view and tutorial of how to gather food and start out in Haven and Hearth. I will do some more videos on this going through the different parts of the game. But until then, I hope you liked this. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.